All right. A couple of cows there. So I just got, came back from the field here today. I'm gonna to tell you something you should never do when you're hunting coyotes. And that is, put them in your freaking car. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this'll be fun. Still, uh, thawed, so. And if thaw like this, I try to skin them out right away. What's that, Mace? <laughs> These are actually really nice ones again. Great for hurry on them. So I get them out of the, out of the uh, car here, and I'll you put them up like these other ones in here still. So I still got four in here, and I'll have to do now six here. Awesome. Thanks. Hey, so this one got shot up a little bit, which is unfortunate. Otherwise, it's an awesome coyote. Great color. It's a female, this one. This dog still doesn't trust the coyotes at all yet. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to this one. This one looks really good. Really happy with the quality of fur this year. All right. All right, this is the male. Those two I just had. It's getting out. He's uh, he's actually really nice for a February coyote. Nice and pale still. Obviously, he's a little bloody. I gotta wash him. Man, that actually turned out really nice. Great pale color. This is in Alberta, Canada, so it's you kind of have the better Western coyotes. They tend to go a little better in the auction. But yeah, this is a really nice coyote. Long hair still. And uh, in great shape, so I'm glad to see that, and uh, probably one of my later coyotes for the year. Okay. Another thing I should mention is you really got to watch your floor. Wife tends, tends to get mad at you when you have blood on the floor. <laughs> so now I got cleanup ahead of me too. Alright. Nice dark video. Two skinned out coyotes there. A couple of full ones there. I'm going to go to my trapping cabin. So in the bush, I can skin them out there and then I can dispose of the carcasses there. So the next update should be from there. So I'm at my cabin here. And uh, we do a nightly check once in a while with a flashlight, see if there's any, any deer out there. And there's a, there's a skunk right there. Now the dog is freaking out because it wants to go outside to go to the washroom and I can't because there's a skunk out there. What is that, Macy? What is it? Eh? What, what is he? Eh? <laughs> Kinda cool. Alright, Macy. What are we doing? We are waiting for the light so we can shoot the skunk outside. We got a little um, pellet gun here, but I also have my uh, 223 I use for coyotes and stuff here. So we're waiting for the light outside and then we're gonna go shoot that skunk if he stays, sticks around this morning. All right, breakfast time. <laughs> what? It's breakfast time. Today we got Grilled cheese with egg inside it. Got the coffee going up. Macy's got some, you know, dog food. What's wrong with you? You gonna go skunk hunting? Yeah. Okay, so no skunks this morning. They disappeared before morning light. Back in the trapping sh shack here, skinning shed. Here's all the cows I had in the garage. So there's four there. One, two, three, four. See them all there. So I'm just starting the, the fire in here because it's a little bit cold still. I'm going to thaw them out today. Hopefully skin them out tomorrow. So that'll be the plan. And then now I can go chop some beaver maybe. Okay, this is, this is kind of cool. This is what I use for a tail stripper. So it's just two pieces of wood. You cramp it around the tail. When the tail is on obviously still. So you'll be at the top here. And you have two hands on both sides, you can strip the tail down and pull right off. So then it comes off like this, which I just did on this one, and then I can, you can split it cleanly after. But right now it's just a tubed out tail, just like that. Down to my last one. So this is uh, how I start too. So I like to hang them by each leg as secure as possible so you can get the cuts in as needed. I always 
try to brush them. It helps get off any sort of clots or burrs they have or even dry blood. Plus, I find it a little bit nicer to work with. <laughs> so yeah, I'm on the last one here and wrap this guy up and I'm uh, done for the day. So here are the four cows that were hanging there. It's actually really cool to see the different color variations. Like they're all the same, but like look how dark this guy is. The tails all differ in color. Although, although it's great fur, hey? Uh, really, really nice fur. It can be a little bit messy in the process of getting to this point. But man, once you get there, it's, it's prime. Prime stuff. All right. Here are the furs again. Just brought them inside because it's a little better light. Man, they look cool, hey? Super soft. So this is what, if people are unaware, this is what Canada Goose uses on their trim of their parkas. I think it's due to water absorption why they use coyote, but that's why the market for coyote is often quite a bit higher too. So yeah, these are the four. So now these are now skinned out, so now I have to flush them. I have to wash them a bit too, you can see a bit of blood, bit of bit of blood in here too. His ear cartilage has to be taken out because that'll rot otherwise, so we'll have to take that all out too. Otherwise, that's the, that's the four there. Right on.